Hello from beautiful Gatineau, Quebec. You know, in the last federal election, the Green Party of Canada finally emerged from the political wilderness. They got over 660,000 votes, and now they have 10,000 new members and a brand new leader, Elizabeth May. But who is Elizabeth May? What makes her tick? Can she operate a chainsaw in the rain? Today we find out. She joins me now. Elizabeth, hello. Hey, Rick. How are you? Welcome to the show. So can you operate a chainsaw in the rain? I have no idea. Because today we have a dream date, and guess what I've arranged for us to do? I can't imagine. We're going to kill a tree. Or not. <laughs> Standing next to the majestic Gatineau River, don't worry, Elizabeth, the chainsaws will come out momentarily. But first, let's talk about a few things. You're the new leader of the party. Yes. How are you going to deal with the fact that people think the Green Party is just a single issue party? Because people it? think you're flakes. No, I, I actually. That's why we're out here with the chainsaw. <laughs> Actually, when people look at our platform and when they watch what we do, now that uh, as leader of the Green Party, I attend question period, I attend the House of Commons, we're doing press conferences. You are. You're hanging around the hill a lot. I am. But they don't let you into scrum, do they? They have found an alcove for me. Do you have right? your own alcove? I have my own alcove. Because you're, even though you're the leader of a party, yes, a national party that ran 308 candidates in the last election, you're yes. not allowed into the scrum area. Well, that, th what, that's true. So according to the I conservatives, you're like one notch up from homeless. <laughs> now, what do you think of uh, Harper's Green Plan? Ah, there's no sign of it yet. For a prime minister in 2006, when all the world is recognizing this is an urgent crisis and requires action, Canada is going to be virtually the only nation on earth with a prime minister who doesn't recognize that the climate crisis is urgent. What do you think of the NDP? Look, there's some terrific policies that come from you want to take the NDP down. platform. I want to take, I listen, I want to be prime minister. That kind of doesn't leave a lot of room for lots of other ones at the same time. Maybe leader of the opposition for a little while. Well, that's, that's not a bad goal as an interim. Full party status? Interim measure. We have full party status. I mean, we are a political party. We are federally funded. We do run in all ridings across this country. Mm -hmm. We have a full platform that deals with every issue and, frankly, deals with it in greater detail and more responsibly than the other parties. Well, if there's another election, we want to see you in the debates, if for nothing else, to brighten things up. Well, it is pretty grim. You yeah, know, four guys in suits cool. repeating their same sound bites over and over and over again. I think most Canadians would like to see you there. I think so, too. Well, we're going to have to go cut a tree down. Okay. Because this oh. is all about rebranding the Greens. Well, we are a serious political force, and I don't know if me wielding a chainsaw is going to make that point can't hurt. Let's hope not. Okay, let's go. Up the tracks we go. And now just up from the river, here we are. It is the homestead, my buddy John's cottage. Well, actually, his mother's cottage. Kay, here it is. Lovely. It's fantastic. If you look right here, Elizabeth, there's the tree. I know. The tree is coming down. I, I, I think we should discuss it. Why? Well, because you see, that tree represents great habitat for, well, that for tree. woodpeckers and other cavity nesting birds. It's you would have that tree, a risk of that tree land on his mother's cottage with his mother inside? Well, it's a question. Because of a woodpecker? You've got the habitat for mom and the kids versus the habitat for the woodpeckers. So. Guess who loses? Come on, let's get the chainsaw. <laughs> I feel like the great mediator. Leader of the Green Party, meet man with chainsaw. Uh, man with chainsaw, <laughs> leader of the Green Party. Hi, good to meet Elizabeth, you. Elizabeth, Steve, Steve, Elizabeth. Yes. This is your trigger. Uh-huh. Squeeze the trigger. Uh-huh. The chain will go. That's it. The tree comes down. Simple. That looks very simple. Oh, good. Gotcha. Take that biatch down. How'd that feel? It's a heady sense of power. <laughs> that shot got it. There we go. That sucker's out of there. Yeah. You should take that as a souvenir. I will. I gotta come in here about two inches above the notch and point the saw in the direction in which I want the tree to fall. This is fantastic. Yeah, I it love is. This. The, it is. The leaf it of is. the green party cutting on the tree. Well, this is like Stephen Harper performing a gay marriage. <laughs> Good it, job. Was, it was stunning. That was fun, wasn't it? Okay, it was. You rock. It, it, was, it was good. Do you have this out of your system, or do you want to go cut down the whole forest? I think we can stop now. We should quit while we're ahead. Thanks for the date. Oh, any time. <laughs> Next time I bring my own chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs>